we are very pleased that we have the director of the CIA, John Brennan, with us today. Every day, the president gets a summary of the most important national security affairs around the world. The Presidential Daily Briefing, the PDB, uh, contains any issue of importance to U.S. national security. And today, for the first time ever, the Central Intelligence Agency is releasing en masse declassified copies of the PDBs and its predecessor publications, some 2,500 documents from the Kennedy and Johnson administrations. The U.S. government has never made public what the president has been told every day by the intelligence community, uh, with one exception, and that was a PDB published in August 2001 about Al-Qaeda. So now they've declassified uh, eight years of the PDB. It's a huge, huge step. It's going to add a lot of richness to understanding of how the Vietnam War unfolded, what U.S. policymakers knew and when they knew it. Uh, so historians will be able to write more complete history. The American people will be able to understand their government at a new level. President Johnson has all along been a strong supporter of John F. Kennedy's policies. Already he has made known that he intends to press for early enactment of the late president's civil rights bill. In the 1960s, the era covered by this declassification, that's going to emphasize the Soviet Union, China, and the Vietnam conflict. The United States has promised its support to the South Vietnamese. Very dangerous time in history. We're talking about the height of the Cold War. We're talking about the beginnings and the height of the Vietnam War. So we get uh, to peek into a time of almost constant crisis. The release of these documents affirms that the world's greatest democracy does not keep secrets merely for secrecy's sake. The American people have been maybe concerned about proper accountability and oversight of U.S. intelligence. And so this is one move to improve uh, what the American people can know about the intelligence community. President Johnson wasn't just concerned with the Vietnam War. And this will give a greater understanding, hopefully, to those who make judgments about his presidency. This is a huge step forward in the transparency of our government. 